There was once a poor man named John in a city called Dimapur in the state of Nagaland. He had a loving wife, two sons, and a daughter. In order to support his family, he worked hard 10 hours straight every day for six days a week. Even though they were poor, they were always very happy for what they had since they loved the Lord and believed that He would uplift them someday. Do you learn a new things? Honey, is the dinner ready? Oh, I'm still working on it. Oh, no it's problem. It's almost about to be. Okay, I can wait for you. Good luck cooking. John and his whole family were very faithful in all the Christian activities and would go to church regularly. Family, we are gathered here to give thanks to God for what He has done. So for tonight's devotion, let me read Psalm number 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this time. Thank you for the blessings you have given me. Thank you for my family. Thank you for everything. Amen. One fine day, John's boss visited him with an important announcement. Hey John, I have a special news for you. Hi, thank you sir. Please, come and sit. I'm impressed by your hard work and I have an offer for you. Oh wow, thank you sir. What is it? I will triple your salary and also I will give you extra bonus and incentives if you work on Sundays. Because Nagaland is a Christian state and there is no one to work on that day. If you work on Sunday, our company will expand and you will also become rich. Okay, uh, I have no problem working on Sunday. It is just one extra day, so I'll accept your offer. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the offer. John shared the good news with his wife, Rebecca. What happened there? What are you thinking about? Oh. Anything wrong? Oh, hi, nothing is wrong. Actually, <coughs> I have some good news. What is this? My boss offered me an increment. Wow, I can't believe it. That's wonderful. Tell me more. But I have to work on Sundays. What? On Sundays? That's not possible. We are Christian and we should keep the Lord's Day holy. I hope you refuse. It's okay, my dear. Only for a few months. I will save enough money and then I will stop. But, dear. Now, with a new agreement, John started working every Sunday instead of attending church with his family. This became a routine and the time just went by very quickly. Ten years later, John had become very rich. He owned a beautiful house and luxurious cars. However, the richer he became, the more he ignored God and the friendship he used to have with his Christian friends and family. He even stopped praying and was living as though he had achieved what he had all by himself. The words of Jesus in Luke 16.13 came true in John's life. No servant can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. John's unbelief grew to such a point that he even refused to celebrate Christian holidays at church.
and home. <sighs> I'm so tired. Dear, yeah, it's Christmas Eve. Shall we all adventures together as a family tomorrow? No, my dear. I would rather stay back at home and rest. Seriously, I don't understand why we will waste time, energy, most importantly money, celebrating the birthday of a man who is unknown in history. You are free to go if you want. Okay, kids, go and get ready for bed. Yes, ma'am. See, dear, the children are so excited about Christmas. It is important that we attend at least this one service as a family together. We live in the same house, under the same roof. Isn't that family enough? John, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm worried that you're trekking away from the family and from God. Okay, honey, but I'm just really tired. Can we not talk about this? I want to rest. Well, then I'm off to bed. Good night. Good night, dear. Even though things were not going too smoothly at home, at work, everything seemed to be going in John's favor. Yes, sir. Please tell Mr. John to bring me the file for Project 39. I will, sir. Sir, come, Mr. John. Here's the file you asked for. Thank you, please. You see it? Thank you. You've done a good job, John. Thank you, sir. As usual, your work goes far beyond our company's expectations. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, sir. That is very kind of you. Now that Project 39 is completed, so I want to offer you a new challenge. That is Project 40. And with it comes a raise in your salary. So, what do you think? I'll do it, sir. I will do it. Okay. Thank you so much. Tomorrow is New Year, so Enjoy with your family. Happy New Year, Mr. John. Happy New Year, sir. And don't forget our project for days begins on Sunday. No problem, sir. I have it covered. Instead of going home, John went out drinking with his friends. His wife and children, however, stayed up and prayed for the new year at midnight. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Let me read. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Children, let us pray that your father will have a change of heart this year. 
Let's pray for a miracle in his life that God will speak to him in a way that he cannot ignore hope. That is coming. Happy New Year, family. The New Year began, and before they knew it, it was time for Thanksgiving in the church. Dear, can you do something for me? Yes, sure. Can you please come with us to church tomorrow? It's Thanksgiving Sunday, and we really want to thank God as a family for all the blessing and joy in our lives. No, I've told you many times, I will never go to church again. You were born and brought up in a Christian family. How can you ignore God, who has given us everything we have? Do you think God will pay me for coming to church? Do you think it's your invisible God who rains down money on you for food, for clothes, and the cars you travel in? It is I who pays the family bill, not God. I made us rich, not your God. If you want to be grateful, be grateful to me, not to someone who has done nothing for you or for me. God, how can you be so rude? The next day, John received an unexpected phone call. Hello? Am I talking to Mr. John? Yes, you are. And may I ask who is calling? I'm calling from Faith Hospital. I'm sorry to say this, but your family has been in a terrible car accident. So please come to our ICU room immediately. Okay, right away. Oh, wait, who are you? Oh, I'm John. I was informed my family is here and I came to see them. Please wait. Doctor, doctor, please. Please save my family. I'll give you anything you want. Mr. John, Just please save them. Mr. John, please calm down. We did all we can. But your family is beyond human help. Only God can save them. Come, let me take you to your family.
Listen, Mr. Jong. Before we enter, I need to tell you something. We tried our best to save all your family members. But sorry to inform you this. We could not help your son, David. Please. John's realization came a day too late. His beloved son David passed away while he was busy with the world. The wealth he earned could not save his son. As a result, he repented from his sin and decided to commit himself totally to the service of the Lord from then on. This morning, we are so blessed to have Brother John, who had been away from the Lord for many, many years. And today, he is back to our church. What a wonderful time this morning that we can celebrate with him. He has been away from the Lord for many years, but then, by God's grace, he is back to our church. and. Uh, he has a wonderful testimony that he will share with us this morning. And I'm sure you all will be blessed through his testimony that he had in his life. And this morning, let's welcome him and uh, he will give his testimony and you do the best. Okay? God bless you. Today, I stand before you to testify that Jesus Christ is alive and God is real. My parents raised me to be a good Christian, and for most of my life, I was a faithful believer. God blessed me with a beautiful wife and three wonderful children, but I was not satisfied. I wanted more. My greed blinded me, and in my quest for a will, I went astray from the right path. God kept calling me back to Him, but I refused and I blasphemed Him instead. Until one day, my precious, precious son was tragically taken away from me, and no amount of money in the world could bring him back to life. That was when I realized God is real. Every blessing comes from Him, and God and God alone has the power to give life. So my friends, I plead with you today, stop chasing the wealth of the world and spend time with family worshiping God because I tell you, in life, there are things money can't buy.
Let us pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. And um, action. Hey, John. I have a special news for you. Hi. Thank you, sir. Please come and see. We're coming from the planet. Cut! Get out of here! Cut! <laughs> no, no, I don't need Bible anymore. Oh, oh. In fact, no, 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 I don't want Bible. Oh, oh, come, 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 come. Something from the Bible. Ah, no, 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 no Bible. Oh, oh, oh. You see something? Ah, no Bible, no Bible. Oh, oh, oh. Breeze right there, don't move a muscle. Do not even scratch your nose. Ah, ah no Bible for me. Come on, John. Oh, come, oh, oh. come on, John. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, no, no Bible. Oh, oh. Come on, John. Come on, John. No. Oh, come on. That's enough. Get out, boys. Ah, no, no Bible for me. Oh, oh. Come on, John. Oh, no Bible for me. Take one, action. And take two, action. Cut. Take three or four, I don't know, action. Somebody want to take something, action. And sing whatever, take whatever, action. And something or other, action. All right. Action. Show me your disappointment, your, okay, so. He just opens the door. I am well home, family. Look over at the door and, and just. Happy New Year, family. Happy New Year, family. And freeze. Action, your son is walking to the door. You're watching. You see your drunk husband fall in the door, what do you do? Um, some action here, come on, your party. Woohoo! Are we shooting? We're shooting, man. Take a drink, John, take a drink. All right, somebody say, you're cheating, you're cheating. Ah, you're cheating. Throw him out. Tell him leave. You gotta go, man. You gotta go. You're drunk, John. You're drunk. That's it. Stumble out. Goodbye. Mr. Zhou, listen. Before we enter, I need to tell you something. Mr. Zhou, listen. Before we enter, I need to tell you something. Listen, Mr. Zhou. Before we enter, I need to tell you something. Listen, Mr. John. Before we enter, I need to tell you something. Listen, Mr. John. Before we enter, I need to tell you something. Listen, Mr. John. Before we enter, I need to tell you something. Listen, Mr. John. Before we enter, I need to tell you something. 